and the government, therefore, should endeavor to develop a balanced budget at both levels of government, not just national government. The counties also need to have balanced budgets, which unfortunately they are not, Chairman. Now, Kenya's budget deficit and debt crisis stems from the government's persistent overspending and non-co-spending priorities. Those two are slightly different. Overspending is where we spend more than we intended, but there is also the problem of non-co-spending priorities. So we need to have our priorities right. The government should not have a budget deficit problem and consequently a debt problem if the expenditure side is resolved to avoid wastage of funds. Kenya's problem, as noted from most of my reports, Chairman, at both national and county, is that spending a lot of the time is on non-essentials leaving out impactful development expenditures. That must improve. So what, I, what uh, my office is recommending is that we seriously audit these loans and the projects that they support to ascertain the effectiveness of the loan. Our analysis has revealed that the average interest paid on concessional loans has averaged 14.5% for many years, which is not cheap by any standards. In fact, when we were borrowing elsewhere, even the euro bond for 6.75, we are repaying the so-called concessional loans at 14.5% and more. We have found places where it is actually higher than the 14. So 14 is an average. We are saying that the Central Bank of Kenya should revisit the interest rate adjustment at the earliest opportunity. This interest rate affects the overdraft that we were just discussing. The Monetary Policy Committee should be convened to reduce the domestic interest rates and our current problems as a country in matters inflation are actually driven by the supply side, while the consumption on the household side is not driven largely through debt. This implies that even if the CPK raises interest rates to curb inflation, the rise will have no impact as inflation will still go up if there is a shortage in food supply. Unless we limit government borrowing, Increasing the scope of tax will not increase revenue beyond the optimal point. This is because government borrowing mops out what could have been used for private sector investment. Economic growth is achievable without exerting too much pressure on the existing tax regime. We used all the revenue we collected, did they refer to one month in January? We used 98.7% of all the revenue we collected on debt servicing. That means that uh, our salaries or whatever other spending we were doing was on borrowed money. That is how serious it gets. Yeah? They receive the money, they put it in a commercial bank. Now, so what is, in, what is interesting about that? It is that the implementing agency is not able to progress with implementing the project because, according to the status report, some of the reasons for the delays in implementing the project was that they were waiting uh, awaiting approval from the National Project Steering Committee and uh, also tax exemption approvals. This money had been sitting in a commercial bank for an inordinate 
time waiting for the National Project Steering Committee to give them a go ahead and also for uh, the National Treasury and the KRA to give tax exemption approvals. Now, the strange thing is that when the money is lying in the commercial bank, they use it to purchase government securities. Don't forget this is money we have borrowed. The commercial bank takes it and buys bonds. So, you can imagine, the longer it stays there, the, the, the better for the bank. They are literally laughing all the way to the bank. Yes. So, it is, it is, it is a contradiction that really needs to be looked at seriously. The Society Committee that is supposed to be meeting to to allow the, 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 the projects to take off. This is uh, not even uh, a disconnect. No chair, you call it a disconnect. No, that's not a disconnect. This is just intentional. It's a liaison between people within this committee at Treasury and the people receiving, or not necessarily the people receiving the money, but delaying intention. That committee you're speaking of, of is, uh, is a cartel in the ordinary Kenyan language. So that the money is at the bank and that money is receiving interest and that interest can be shared from elsewhere. And the country is borrowing more. And also borrowing the same money that it was given to the same bank. And this is an area which really as parliament we have to look at and uh, investigate more of such a project. And this will actually ease out some of the money that we actually re require now that we have problems of cash flow. They receive the money, put the money in the account. Now, did you follow up to see if that money and interest, and if that money and interest, uh, where did the interest go? Now, you also said that uh, this loan, basically the, the bank turned around and uh, sold uh, a bond on, on the loan. Um, would you also find out the interest on that bond and uh, what exactly transpired within. I would also want you to actually do more audits of this similar, because if we have this one, I'm very sure we have so many uh, uh, similar loans that are sitting out there. And uh, this is basically worrying uh, to us and to the government that uh, we, can, uh, we can be in a conundrum of where we are giving out loans to do development and the same loans basically